go, go, go. Hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. Sorry. <laughs> right, this is an off the cuff vlog. Uh, it's only Wednesday. Normally I record these on a Thursday and get them up for Thursday night. Uh, just so that I can get more views than the ideal home show. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm doing this today is is mainly due to advice from my management team, which is a small man with a beard that thinks he's a vaping biker. Anyway, he uh, basically said, don't open your mail, keep it. Show it to people, show it when you're opening it. So I got some vape mail. So I can't wait to open it. I'm sorry. Even after five and a half years, I still get so excited opening up mail. So I'm just going to, it's only three boxes, but I'll show you everything else that's been going on uh, as well. I was, and I will, uh, I'm going to record a review for this today as well. The, the Aria, I'm sure it's Aria that, that they pronounce that. Uh, those out there that like to pick me up in my pronunciation, which is possibly the easiest or the busiest job under the sun. Uh, this is by Neo Mod. Uh, so I'll, I'll get a review done for this uh, today as well. That'll go up over the weekend. Um, so that's been getting thoroughly tested. Uh, today I went, uh, well, what I did on my Facebook page, I did a giveaway. Uh, there were, there were, there was, there could have been, there was nine Wotofo Flow uh, sub tanks that went out. They have all now been posted. That's them all gone now, so that's everything gone. Uh, also, I've posted off the SV. Uh, Chris Durkin did a, an amazing raffle, and as usual, everybody in SV, I think they raised something like £5,000. Uh, so there was a, all the Asvape gear went to a chap. Uh, so that's been posted. And I will, in this vlog, at some point, at some point, um, I have four... Uh, RAM box mods to, to send out as well, but uh, I've still to figure out how the hell I'm going to do that, but I'll stop talking at some point and to, to, to spitting everywhere, stop talking at some point and, and go and do the the raffle, the, the randomizer. Um, so that's all going on. Um, just now, uh, I am vaping with, this is, uh, remember, Scott's Squonkers? I mentioned him before, uh, that's the name of his Facebook page. So I've got my Todd's review. This is 3D printed wood filament. On that I've got a Narda, and on that I've got my Jigsaw drip tip. Now that, uh, I've talked about this before, but I really, aesthetically why I don't, I don't think it looks the best on, you know, all the modern atties and whatnot. I know these are really popular over in Germany and it's incredibly comfortable to vape with um, and I've shown you this before I am going to do some kind of stop motion video but uh, I mean that's all the interchangeable parts that you can get for the drip tip um, you, can, you really can customize it uh, but I will put the link in the description I'll probably forget or I'll put some text along here I'll do something like that Oh my, um, that's great. And like I said, I think that was about fifty pound, and you, you know, you'll put your design on it basically. But it's 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 an honest little homemade three D printed squonker, and I thoroughly enjoy using it. Mainly because I can do this when I'm when I'm out. You know, just some people don't, in case they don't know who I am. Um, what? Uh, right, actually, let's just open this. Now, what have we got here? Um, we had a big box. Oh, it's from Eddie. Uh, I should have known it's from Eddie because it's in a box for 3D printed materials. You can't actually see that. I need a big knife. I need a big knife. Um, now, what else has been happening? I've not actually done much this week at all. I think the only review that I've actually put up that uh, since my last vlog was it the Ultimate? Was it? Was that the last one? I'll have to check. I think it may have been. Um, the Ultimate RDA from the Philippines. Uh, now, for those of you that watched that review and heard me moaning about it, uh, you'll be glad to know that uh, the makers of 
that, the GOM, Guild of Modders, uh, they're already, I think they're sending out updates to people that have uh, they've sorted a lot of issues. So they're making these updates available to people, which I think is absolutely fantastic. What the flying feck is this? Eddie's, Eddie, you are an, I, was, I don't know if this is a piss take of Dean, because uh, Dean always gets sent pink mods, but Eddie has included in this Aerosmith pink. Now, the strange thing is, the strange thing is, this is absolutely brilliant. A <laughs> that has so tickled me. Uh, I'm going to listen to that later on. That is actually one of my favourite tracks by Aerosmith. Um, it, I think it's an absolutely fantastic track. I can't believe you sent that. You mad Jesus lookalike you. Eddie, thank you so, so much. Uh, I'm sure there's something else in here, but... <laughs> I love my life sometimes. I really, really do. Right, what have we got? Okay, so we're stocked up in bubble wrap and shit again. Um, Eddie. Thank God it's not in one of these big boxes. I've actually got, you know these storage things here? I've got one that's just full of Darwin Mods boxes. That Eddie, sorry, Eddie. Eddie Me is the, the guy behind Darwin Mods. Uh, and he sent me on a little thing. Uh, a little, oh, that is so smart, look at that. Can, <laughs> I really like that. That's so cool. Um, so this is the the Squonk one, um, and I have I have shown you these. But anyway, let's 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 do this. Here we go. Um, now where have they all gone? Well, they're all lined up here. So that is the Squonk one. It's a 3D printed, this used to be a, a battery carrier that you used to make 3D print it. Uh, you put batteries in it and then he converted it into a, a squonker. So it's, that's the squonk one. Uh, Eddie also did the Evolver, that's a series uh, mechanical mod. Uh, I have that. And also I've got these big bad boys, uh, these are another two squonkers from Eddie, uh, these are lipo mods and they're big old bruisers and I have everything that Eddie ever made and I just keep them and I use them because he's an awfully nice guy. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with this, let's see what he's sent on. Um, oh, holy fuck, eh, wow, wowza. Right, so this was, and give this the lightning, so this was the, the original one, so that's got a Fat Daddy Vape 510 up the top there, but look at this, Stab Wood, he's done a stabilised wood one. Oh, and, and it's got, um, that's a Mod Maker 510 up the top now, instead of the Fat Daddy Vape. So you've got your firing button there, you've got your contact underneath there, so that just pressure. Um, there you go. There's your mod maker bottle in there. Um, there's a little sleeve that goes over the, the, the button at the top and your battery just goes in there. But look, stabilised wood one. Ooh, how cool is that? I have absolutely no idea how much you sell these for. Uh, go along to the Darwin Mods Facebook page or look for Darwin Mods on Google and I'll get you to the website. Uh, but this is, is this thicker, is it the exact same dimensions? No, it's slightly, slightly bigger, slightly, slightly taller I should say. But, wow, <laughs> it's so cool. That's so cool. I don't know what I'm more excited about though. Uh, the mod or the single. This is what we call vinyl. 
boys and girls, this is how we used to listen to music. See that thing there? That's a record. A vinyl record. That's ACDC Back in Black. One of the best albums ever made. Uh, so, let's, uh, thanks Eddie. I'll, um, yeah, I, I was going to say, I'll show this off to folk. I just have. Uh, right, let's put this all back in bags or I will lose it all. I will. I will lose it. Right, there it goes. Doink. Um, what's in this box? Ow, funny bone. I just hit my funny bone. But I will do this for this segment because this this wasn't sponsored. Once again, I actually uh, I have to report that uh, my sponsorship for this channel has fallen through the floor. Um, Wellbeing Cafe, uh, Starbucks have provided me with nothing for this week's section. So uh, instead, this week shall be sponsored by these guys. Or at least until I finish talking about whatever it is they've sent me. Uh, right, um, this is a squonker by, by this lot. <laughs> um, uh, the Supercar Super Car BF Box, designed by 5G Vape Technology Limited. Uh, right, let's have a little gander in here. I know uh, Richard, uh, Vaping V1CK, has got one of these as well. Um, ooh. Ooh, ooh, wood. Right, there we go. A little wooden squonker. That's got a car oh, for fuck's sake. I swore, I'm really so. Oh, man, oh, hell. Really? Why did you put that in the back? <laughs> this this looks so promising to start off with, right? Um, okay, keep moving, keep 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 going, keep going. Right, it's got the 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 five C vape in the front, and this is slides. It's a slide door. Uh, and there we go. Now I've not seen inside this yet. Okay, so what have they got? They've got their own branded bottles. Oh, super soft silicon bottles. Super soft. Uh, and they don't appear to let any air out of them. I'll test that. And why am I still wearing a hat? Anyway, or I can do that and pretend that I'm really hip, cool and trendy. Uh, right, the 510. Is, is that flush or is that... It's not completely flush. It's raised on one side. And there's another thing. Is it a spring loaded 510? No, it's not. You have to adjust it yourself, which is no bad thing. The Italians would charge you £700 just for the pleasure of doing that. Um, right. This is actually quite a nice wee thing to hold. Um, and there are. Is there any mat? No, there, there's a thing. Yes, there are. There's magnets in the bottom of the door there and magnets there to so it doesn't fall. There is a bit of wobble in the door, but it's nothing true. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh Dave, let's build a wooden squonker. And do you know what would be awesome? We'll put a picture of a car in the back and call it the Supercar BF Box. Somebody should have taken Dave, kicked him in the nuts and said no. But anyway, it's here, it's a thing, uh, as my hairy friend would say. It's well presented and it doesn't actually seem completely shit. Um, they did also... <laughs> the Washington. <laughs> I didn't say I would review that, but I'll chuck a coil in it, see if it's any good. Uh, but I will show you this off in a proper review. Um, and if I can figure out how to scratch uh, the car off the back, and I'm a car petrol head, but anyway, so that's that. Um, I don't know where that spares pack came from. What did that come out of? Okay, we'll put it in this. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, moving on. This one is has not come from Cloud9. 
got to stop saying that. Uh, this has come from Creme de Vape. Now, I wasn't supposed to say anything about this or, 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 yes! Keith and Lisa, thank you, sweeties. It's just, you just cannot beat sweeties, you really can't. Um, and, oh my god. Oh, here's lots of lots of instructions and stuff. Right. Oh, it's from Flo. Um, I, I'm not supposed to basically show this off uh, or anything like that, but since Mr. Bissardo has already uh, posted photos of it, uh, it's from Esto. K Fun. The K Fun Prime. Uh, once again, this came from Creme de Vape in the UK. Uh, I'm not going to do much of anything here. I'm just going to open it up and have a quick gander. And there we go. The K Fun Prime, uh, which looks remarkably like the the, the K Fun. What do you call it? How's your father? What's your um um? You know what I mean? The five. Right, let's uh, remember that is it the push that up, you can spin it around, you've got all the holes in the bottom. Uh, what's the one with it? Three, two, one. Let, let's go around to the most holes. Let's just try this out quickly. Obviously, there's no build in this. Very, very, very restricted lung hit. And then we'll spin this round to the smallest hole. And it's a proper lung hit. Yeah, that's a lung hit. Just. It is a better, it is a lung hit. Uh, and it comes with a Pyrex, is it a glass tank? What's that? Oh no, it's a polycard tank. Comes with that as well. Um, obviously, these are going to be for sale very, very soon. Um, just having a quick look at the deck. Yeah, it's it looks like a K fun. It looks like a K fun. I'll um I am going to put a build in this this afternoon and then I am going to use it for as much as I can for the next seven, ten days uh, and then I will do a review for it. I am going to use the shit out of this before I review it because to, and in all fairness I was not a fan I fell out of love with uh, the k uh after the 3 or after the plus um, but up until that point I was one of their biggest fans on the planet probably I, I loved them, I absolutely adored them, they were the first the k V3, not the 3.1 but the V3 uh, was possibly my first real love affair with any vaping equipment but um, 4 was just over complicated and 5 for whatever reason I just didn't gel with it uh, I thought there were better tanks available but we'll give this a go um, or or maybe not because I can't get the, the airflow thing that was I've broken I've broken it already I've not broken it don't panic don't panic or maybe I have holy shit don't tell me I've broken it already. No, I've not. I'll put that down. I'll put that down. So there you go. The K-Fun Prime has arrived. Um, if you want lots of up-close photos, go and look at Mr. Bissardo's webpage. Um, <laughs> I was told I wasn't supposed to show it off until it was getting launched. Anyway. Uh, right, let's move around left to right. Well, tell you what, here we go. Speaking of mouth-to-lung-ish. Um... This is the Easy Twat, or the Easy, sorry, the Easy Watt, that's Rick's fault. Uh, the Easy Watt from Inakin, and this is the T20S uh, up top. And if I remember right, I'm not going to remember right, it takes 0 0.8 and 1.5 ohm coils, um, and it's, it's, is bordering on the line for me for very very restricted lung hit and very very open mouth to lung it's on the cusp it's not 
a proper one of either. It, it's it's quite strange, um, but. I, the coils that the prism is it prism coils that come with this. Uh, this just arrived yesterday morning, and I've been vaping away with this. Uh, I really, really like this little thing. Uh, it's a fifteen hundred milliamp hour battery. I think inside it, it does have adjustable wattage through a menu system of sorts. It just has lights up here, so. You can see I'm at mid-range here, and you can adjust it, it's dead easy to work with. It, it's tiny, and I actually, I'm not usually a fan of these things, but I am gelling with this, and I am loving the flavour from the coils. Uh, it, it's quite enjoyable, this. It's quite enjoyable. So there will be a review for that coming as well. Uh, right, what's next? Let's go round. Um told you about that, going to review that, we're doing that, done that, done. Ooh. I did uh, Rob from steamisland.com sent me a mod on a long time, not a long time ago, a few months back. It was made by a Russian guy called the Lazy Master, um who has sent me on again one of his squonkers and this is it here uh, now so we have a fire button here got a little you can see that just sits in there squonky window in there uh, that's my battery in there turn it round squonky window see it so you can squonk it like that you know squeeze it like that or you can just push on one side um, the MX this is 3000 year old wood uh, and no, he didn't go out and oh god, I hate internet. People going three thousand. He went out and cut down a three thousand year old tree. No, man, did you ever consider that it might just have fallen down by itself? You can actually go out and anyway, I'm not getting into that. Um, but this is possibly one of the most comfortable squonk mods I've ever ever owned. Uh, this, see this your finger just falls into that groove there, it's bloody brilliant. Um, I think he's only going to make about 15 of them. Um, and I'll take my battery out here, there we go. So there's your contacts in it, so you can see you push the button in the back and it makes contact in there, it is an insulated switch. You've got this little, see it says green there just now, I can spin that round. It's red, that's it locked. It actually uses the VT inbox bottles uh, here as well. And I think I said Modmaker 510, which is slightly tweaked. Um, I'm sure he said to me it's bronze contacts. I'm sure he said it was bronze. I'll, I'll have to read the spec again. Uh, but... Um, I think this is going to be about $280. I think it's $280. I will be doing a review for this in the next couple of weeks. Um, I think this is an exquisite. I really do. It's not stabilised wood. It's not anything like that. But it's just the design of it. It's, it's just... Ah. Uh, it kind of makes me weak at my knees. Uh, anyway, no, I, I really, really like this. And speaking about getting weak at my knees, um, Anthony at Elemental Mods um, I asked me if I wanted to have a look at uh, or give him feedback on a mod that he's working on. It's a prototype, um, and this is it. Come on. There we go. Uh, now this is a prototype, now this is made out of Juma, uh, which is like a resin, uh, and I have to say that if this is, you know, this is what he does for a prototype, This the finishing on this is flawless, uh, it's not going to actually, the finished product may not look exactly like this, uh, but it will be done in stabilised wood, uh, we've got a MOSFET in there, we've got a recessed 24mm catch cup in there, 
uh, sorry, that's a Haku, a polished Haku with a Cyamod strip tip. It's like that, 2700 battery. And as I said, some things will change on this, but it is incredibly well finished. Just for a comparison, look at this. Um, focus, there you go. That's the box that it comes in. This is raised. I mean, this is this is absolutely bloody gorgeous. Uh, I love all these little dovetails and whatnot. It does posh stuff. It does. I'm a lucky, lucky guy. I'm a lucky guy. Um, but anyway, so I'm testing that just now. But the finished version will be in stab wood or hybrid resin stab wood. I'm not 100% sure. And there may be other changes to it as well. But so far, it's very, very nice. Um, right. Here, I need your advice. I need your advice. Now, this is the Danny V3 from Die Codes. This is the Danny 25mm from Die Codes as well. Now, I use these an awful lot. An awful lot. I have major love for these. I mean, these are, you know, 80 watts out of a regulated tube. Um, but I use it mostly in wattage mode. Now, I reviewed an earlier version of this board and the menu system is much the same. Now, the problem was that, and oh, just hear me out. The problem was that the comments that I got in that video were people just going, what? I, about the menu system, they just couldn't believe that it, you could go as deep into it. I mean, it's the manual for it is, you know, it's quite in depth. Now, the menu system is much the same. It's been simplified in some areas, but as somebody that is not a temp control vapor, I am struggling to actually review these. Um, I can tell you right here and now that I know for a fact that if you're a temp control vapor, a die codes board is is just the business. It's the bee's knees. It really is. It's just an awesome thing. If you're just using it as a regular wattage mode, then it's it works great as well. They are built like brick shit houses, and they're expensive. I mean, uh, you know, obviously I got mine through Smoke No Smoke in Germany, um, and you can get them in the UK from Creme de Vape as well. Uh, and I think they're awesome, but I do not think that. People that watch my videos <laughs> will sit and watch me going through the entire menu system because it's big. It would be a very long video and the vast majority would be me going through the menu system. Um, I don't know. I, I would like feedback. I would like to know from you guys, would you like to see me reviewing these but doing the menu system, doing the whole menu system, the ins and outs and pros and cons, blah, 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 blah. Is that something you would like to see? So, please. Um, and if I, th just, please, no winding me up in this one, just because I know that you're a bunch of twisted so-and-sos, well, most of you, uh, but um, just comment below. Let me know, let me know. Right, um, what else came in? Right. I, uh, I got a couple of mods from a company called Revolution Squad. Um, now, Revolution Squad. Da, it's just gonna, gonna, there we go. Revolution Squad, London. Right. Um, they have an office in London, uh, but uh, the mods are made in Taiwan. Um, I incorrectly said on Dean's vlog that I thought they were 24 karat gold plated. They're not. They're just highly polished brass. Um, 
So this is the Twister. Hybrid up the top, 510. Um, you know, it will actually sit, once you put the battery in, it does sit like that. So you have venting coming out the bottom here. Um, and it's just a, a big copper firing button there with an incredibly stiff spring but it works really well I, I just there's no two ways about it it works really well um, I, the button's too stiff for me so they have that one L twister we also have the Britpop which is this one um, so this is the Britpop version it's the exact same just the design's different now the strange thing is the, stra <laughs> the strange thing is that Whilst I'll review these, I will show these off in more detail. I'll do a proper review and so on and so forth. And they say that the head office is in London, but you go to the website and you're paying do paying in dollars. Uh, and these are three hundred and fifty dollars for a polished brass tube. <laughs> I. I, I it's a highly polished brass tube. Um, I, I, I can, I will leave it for the review. But I, I just, I don't. You're paying in dollars. They're made in Taiwan. They have an office in the UK. These were posted from Taiwan to me. Then go and check out. Go and look at Revolution Squad the website. Um, I don't know. I just, just little. Little alarm bell going off in the back of my head in this one, but I'll do a proper review and I'll put all my, I'll get all my thoughts together for that and let you know about it. Now, last but not least, this is called the haven't a clue. Kel, 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 fudge monkeys. Um, remember the dwarf uh, by K H W mods was it? KHW mods? It is KHW mods. I'm not that far gone. Am I? The Jorda. Ah, the Jorda. Yeah, KHW mods in Hungary. I've reviewed a couple of bits of their gear. They do proper mouth to lung stuff. Proper mouth to lung gear. Um, and the air holes are 1.5 uh, times 1 times two or times three. Um, so you can have a 1.5 mil draw on this, which I consider to be, I consider to be mouth to lung. I know a lot of the old 0 0.91 mil air hole purists will say that's not them, that's not mouth to lung, but um, I believe it is. <sighs> I don't know what to say about this. I really don't because it's very durable for one thing. Bear with me. <laughs> now I've come to old. Let's get the dog hair off that for a start. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Get on the mod. Right, uh, I'll just show you like this just now. So there's the air holes. So each air hole there is 1.5mm. So you can see I've got three of them open just now. I'm just going to screw it down onto this mod here. The deck, which will focus, looks like that. And this is this is actually the the bigger uh, top cap. He actually has slam caps. Well, I don't think he's calling them slam caps, but they look like kind of slam caps, shorter caps. Um, but that's very restricted, and that's all the air holes open. You can, and this is just my humble opinion, you can get a black top cap, and I think they only sent me black and Ultim. I don't think they sent me any clear ones. Um, I may be wrong in that. Yeah, they just sent black and Ultim. Uh, I would have loved to have had a clear top cap for this or a stainless steel top cap for this. Um, because it's got such a big stainless steel base, it, it does look a bit on the strange side, but... The deck is really good, it's brilliant to squonk with, and the flavour from it is 
it's up there. It's bloody good. It's bloody good. And if I remember, is it about 60 or 70 euros? Is it key? Remember I said, remind me, was it KHW mods? Yes, it was. Uh, the Jordan RDAs. Sorry I never shaved today, but I forgot to shave. 79, it was 80 euros actually. I think it's really good. I think it's very, very good. And if you're a mouth to lung vapor and you want a good RDA, I, I, I've not used it excessively. I've only used it probably for a day. I have to test it more before I review it, obviously, but I am quite impressed so far. I'm quite impressed. Um, yes, there's that. Oh my God, it looks like a shithole in here. Now, is there anything else I should mention? I'll tell you what, I'm going to stop. I'm going to do a draw for these mods. That's what I'll do. I'll do a draw for the mods. I'll stop this just now. Right, uh, using um, some website, a YouTube random comment picker uh, website, I had uh, 1,598 comments um, and I went through, picked four because I have four mods to give away, obviously. Uh, <laughs> the, the only stipulation for this was that you had to be a subscriber. And um, I've been through about 10 people. 10 people could have won one of these, but they weren't subscribers. So, sorry. Um, the people that came up after those people uh, were the people that were appeal. I'll put them here. Uh, there'll be a list of people here. These are the people that won. Uh, I verified that these people are subscribers. Now, I need each of you to email me. Uh, my email address is in the description for, it's in the first comment for every video. You'll get it there. So drop me a message um, and then uh, we'll sort out getting these mods out to you. You do not get to pick the color. It's random what color you get. Uh, I think I've got, Oh, well, that's easy. I've got three greens and a blue, basically. So, uh, but you don't get to pick it. I'll just send you one. So, uh, those people that uh, have appeared here, please get in touch with me at the email address that is in the first comment below this video. Thank you to everybody else that entered. Um, is it the accent? Do people not... And it must be the accent. It has to be. Probably is. Ah, right, uh, for those of you that aren't interested, for those of you that have lives to get on with, uh, the next bit shall have nothing to do with vaping. Uh, I shall be waffling about probably cars, TV and other shite. Um, that's me, totally finished Wyona Erp. Uh, I'd like to apologise to the other people that listened to me and went off and got hooked on it as well and watched all of them. Thoroughly enjoyed it. it it's, it's like... Uh, it's like a more grown-up, I'm sorry, a more grown-up version of Buffy, uh, the Vampire Slayer, <laughs> but it's not vampires. It's just almost, it's very similar to Buffy. Uh, the humour, just a bit more risky, shall we say. Uh, I loved it, absolutely loved it. Uh, so I enjoyed that. Uh, I also watched, what did I watch? I sat down and watched Gone Girl. First time I've seen it. <laughs> I'll never look at a bottle of wine the same again. Anyway, um, right, I cars. I'll, I'll, we'll finish this. Uh, we'll finish this. We'll call this the Oban years, um, because basically the long, short and sweet of it is that when when I actually stayed in Oban, you know, we didn't have a lot of cash or anything like that, and uh, I was just basically I was learning IT at the time, so uh, you know, money wasn't that great, and so we just bumbled about with motors and I've shown you some of them uh, but the ones that I had before we left Oban and moved over to the east coast of Scotland uh, I think I'll show you what I'll show you this one I've shown you BMW that one this one this is a, a Mark 1 Golf GTI Zinzibar Red um, and I oh man if I could have kept a car forever it would have been this one uh, I drove down to Stranraer. Well, my dad drove me down to Stranraer from Oban to pick this up. Um, mint. Absolutely mint. Uh, Hockenheim wheels on it. Uh, Zender. Is it Zender? I had the Zender uh, parts on it as well. 
Um, and it was pretty much bog standard, but it had all been upgraded, uh, uh, not upgraded, but restored. It was just mint. But this was at a time when Mark 1 Golf GTIs were just old cars. They weren't anything special. So <laughs> what happened was <laughs> I had that car for quite some time and somebody ran into the back of me at traffic lights. They just ran straight into the back of me um, and totaled the back end. So I got rid of it. I let it go for pennies. Within months, the world decided that Mark 1 Golf GTIs were awesome. And I could have sold that even in the state it was in after the accident, probably for about three times what I actually sold it for. So that broke my heart because I loved that car. If I could go back and cherry pick any car that I've owned, it would be that little Golf GTI. Uh, it was 1.8. Um, it's just bloody brilliant. It really was. So much fun. I don't know what it would be like going back and driving it now, but I, in my head I remember it as being so much fun. Um, the car I actually got after that, uh, after that is possibly something I... Oh, I don't know. It was a Mark II Astra GTE. It was an 8-valve one. Uh, this thing here. I'm sure that's Momo... Aroy, a, Aroys? Momo Aroys. <laughs> Momo Arrow Alloys is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it looked stunning. I mean, it looked really, really good at the time and with the digital dash and all that. But um, it was just, you could, you just, I mean, you could do a slightly warm fart in that car and the windows would just steam up. The condensation and where did that come from? The windows would just steam up at the drop of a hat. Um, the the gearbox was like ah, it was like stirring porridge. And for those of you that knew the Mark II um, inspection panels and the boot, you open them up and you look inside. The inner in the inner wings were just rotten. They were just gone. They were mints. Um, didn't keep that for that long. I wasn't a huge fan of that car at all. I would love a Mark 1 Astra GT. I'd love to go back and have one of them. I never owned one, but uh, yeah, they were gorgeous. Um, also in the Oban era was Honda Preludes. That's when I started uh, my Honda Prelude phase as well. I had a Mark 2 Honda Prelude. I think I drove over to the Edinburgh area and bought that. Um, had a Mark II Honda Prelude. I haven't got. A, I don't think I've got a photo of the Mark II. Um, but I had a Mark III, and I had a Mark IV as well. Um, loved them, absolutely loved them. Honda Preludes were great. I never had a Mark V because the headlights were absolute crap. Um, but ah, uh, yeah, very very good. And in the Oban era, the last one, <laughs> I think that. I've got a photo of it. The last one I think I can remember is this. This is a Fiat X19. And this is just where the madness started. Uh, the Fiat X19, which back in those days I could fit into. Um, I spent more time broken down at roundabouts trying to fix the electronics than I did actually driving this thing. <laughs> so much fun to drive. So much fun, little 1.5 litre. Uh, take the roof off, chuck it in the front, and it was great, great fun, but what, the electronics were shit. And, and they were bad for rusting as well. I actually sold that to a man that drove through from Edinburgh. He brought his golf clubs with him and his other car. He threw them in the, he never looked at the car, he just threw his golf clubs in the back of the car and went, yep, that'll do it. And drove away. Uh, that's all he was interested in. Um, so there we go, there's bang up, there's, that's the Oban era, that's when it all kind of changes because when I moved away from Oban that's when I started making good money and that's when I started buying cars that I always wanted to buy when I was a kid. It just went so so wrong from this point forward. Anyway, um, what's next? I'm going to go. Uh, before I go, I just want to mention that next week, it is next week, I'm sure it's next week, I'm off to Poland, uh, Monday to Wednesday, and then on the Friday I'm off to Vape Expo in Paris, which I cannot wait for. 
uh, go and check out the, the website for them and you'll see all the mod makers that are going to this. It's going to be an amazing event. If you're going, please come up and say hello. See who you are. Uh, see who you are. Introduce yourself and uh, watch me get all nervous. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that'll be great. Really looking forward to it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to Poland as well. I, I will try and get as much as I can out in the way of reviews in between. It, it might go a bit dry for a few a couple of weeks um, but um, and also in uh, yes I may be going back to work uh, somewhere details aren't ironed out yet for the whole of October um, so I'll be back full time work outside the shed if you like um, working for something else working for someone else we'll call it in October so the reviews will get a bit sparse and thin in the ground yet again uh, but uh, I'll tell you all about that at a later date I've kept you long enough I have no idea how long this is going on for I apologize I just talk some crap it's unbelievable um, thank you to you as always for watching uh, your patience and understanding is unbelievable uh, it really is but uh, take care have an awesome weekend and um, we'll speak to you very soon Right, pushing the red button. Bye.